Good morning, ASM. I'm Josh. And I'm Katie. Today we'll be discussing Dunkin' and all the things you can order from them. More on this after news and announcements. Yesterday, a reported 21 people were killed in a shooting by a lone gunman at Robb Elementary School in the town of Uville. Bay, Texas. At least 19 students and two adults were among the casualties. The 18-year-old gunman Salvador Ramos attended Uvalde High School, which had its graduation set for coming Friday. State Senator Roland Gutierrez said the shooter brought at least two assault rifles shortly after his 18th birthday. Governor Greg Abbott said it's believed that the shooter abandoned his vehicle and entered the school with his weapon. The suspect also allegedly shot his grandmother before going to Robb Elementary. A scuba dive team has completed an extraordinary cleanup of Lake Tahoe after a full year of work, pulling up more than 12 tons of submerged trash. Organize, organ, organized by the nonprofit cleanup, the lake, the team resorted every inch of 72 miles of the crystal blue lake shoreline and subshore, collecting 24,079 pieces of litter, weighing a total of 25,281 pounds. As divers circumnavigated the lake, they recovered not just typical plastic and glass leaders, but lost wallets and engagement rings too. The project was made possible by a 100,000 matching donation from Tahoe Blue Vodka, the Tahoe Fund, and Nevada's Lake Tahoe License Plate Program, among others. The Supreme Court is going to rule soon on an upstate New York case that could make it easier to carry guns across the U.S. A lawsuit filed by two Winnesota County men is going against the state guns laws. The men are complaining that applicants should not have to give a reason for why they want to carry a concealed gun in public. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please help NOAA Care Bags achieve its goal to help parents and guardians who are staying with their child in a children's hospital to take care of themselves and to keep a family together. We provide toiletries to meet their physical needs, a candy bar to remind them to eat, and a positive quote and message for emotional support. Drop off at our collection bin in the high school lobby through May 26 tomorrow or donate online at noahscarebags.com. Seniors, show your Spartan pride. Write a fist bump to a former teacher, counselor, coach, administrator, secretary, teacher, assistant, librarian, nurse, custodian, or bus driver. Tell them why they made a difference in your life. Make sure you write the building of the person on the back of the fist bump. We will send it, them your note and win a fist bump prize. Ask your teacher for the fist bump, or you can find them in the front of the school or the library. Reminder, if you are considering running for office, all paperwork and all rough draft speeches must be submitted by Thursday, May 26th at the end of the day. Any questions, please reach out to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org. On Tuesday, your ESM masterminds overcame an early 90-10 deficit and defeat cross-town rival CBA in the Syracuse Regional Tournament held at OCC. The victory combined with the victory over Sydney. Guinea Atlas earned the Spartans the regional runner-up trophy. The only losses for the ESM Spartans all season were to the regional champion, FM. Congratulations to Captain Gordon Gallery, seniors Ronan Gerber, Max Newman, a new school field, Jack Tumulty, and the ESM scoring leader, Ben Scalfaro. Thanks for the fantastic season. Go Spartans! Okay, so Duncan was founded in 1950 in Massachusetts and is one of the top fast food places in America. Josh, how is Duncan meaningful to you? Oh, of course it's meaningful for me. Duncan brings joy in having amazing food and drinks in a matter of minutes without having to do any work. What is your favorite thing to order from Duncan, Katie? Mine would have to be the monk chickens. 
So here's our order. Um, I got a refresher. And I got my favorite munch kits. Um, also, Kay, did you know Duncan sells their wedding apparel? No way. We'll have to come back to this, but let's see what's going on with sports today. So here are some things I saw on Duncan's website. They have a lot of wedding stuff. You can order a veil, coffee cups on their website. The real question is would you get married at Duncan Josh? Most likely. Um, I would do like a party, kind of like a reception. Um, I'm not sure how romantic Duncan is. It's just super busy and it's kind of small. Dallas Mavericks li live to fight another day as they shave off elimination in a 119-109 Game 4 win against the Golden State Warriors. Luka Doncic led the Mavericks in points with 30. According to an autopsy report released yesterday, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins was legally drunk and had taken drugs before he was fatally hit by a dump truck while walking across an interstate highway in Florida last month. The Broward County Medical Examiner Office said that Haskins' blood alcohol contact was 0.2, two times more the legal limit for driving. When he was struck on Interstate 595 just before dawn on April 9th, a woman had, he was with told investigators that Haskins had gone to get fuel. Witnesses say he was trying to wave down trucks and was standing in the center of the road when he was hit by a trunk and then an SUV and dying due to blunt force trauma. An upcoming game's unified basketball team plays at Liverpool at four. And I'm Tanner with each sports. We wanted to thank you all for watching today's show and have a great day.